way back in college when uh, my co-founder Vikrant and I we were working on a small project to build an electric vehicle. That is where we needed a lithium-ion battery, and right. And uh, we, in 2016, when we went out in the market to find a battery, it took us around six months. That is where, you know, as students, we got irritated and intrigued why it is so difficult to find a lithium-ion battery in India. And uh, with you know a series of discussions, we realized it is because no lithium-ion cell is manufactured in India. And it is a fact that electric mobility is the future because of various you know, reasons like air pollution, CO2 emissions. We need to you know, cut, the, cut these off uh, with a clean mobility shift. So, you know, as even the government is pushing towards and it's the need of the hour that India needs to become self-reliant and atmanirvan. We have been importing fossil fuel for a very long time and we have been dependent on other countries. The same cannot be the case for electric mobility as well. That is where we need to have these critical materials like lithium, cobalt and nickel to be circulated back into the Indian EV ecosystem. Therefore, it becomes a necessity to develop a circular business model around this concept and that is where we got into recycling of lithium ion batteries. So when we have started the company in the first, so the industry was so immature that even we were not knowing what to do because uh, lithium ion technology was very new and uh, there was no industry which where we can take as a you know benchmark that how to do it. So we started from the scratch and we just learned from the market that this is a good opportunity and major challenge was to you know there is no supply chain there are no batteries which you get get from the market so we built up a good network where supply chain network we organized the market and even right now also there are a lot of challenges in terms of supply chain building it because once you throw out your battery from your phone even you don't know where your battery goes so that's something which we are developing at this moment also your financial partner is actually your you know uh, mentor any guide in, in, in setting up your business in terms of financial transactions. They help you with you know the best bank rates, they help you that how you can you know manage your money, if, if, either if you have got the funding how to you know secure that funding in, in a way that you can at least make some interest on that and you can uh, make some money just by banking. I mean there are a lot of the products and offerings that we have really loved. Uh, the first one which I really like and which are my employees really like is the uh, zero balance salary accounts. So all of my team were really behind me that they need zero balance accounts, you know. So that is where I requested them and they helped me with that. Uh, and the second one is the, uh, there are no charges for the inwards and outwards uh, uh, for the foreign transactions. So that is really helpful, you know, we save some money there. And the third one is uh, the interest uh, that they uh, give on the uh, money that we bank on them is really good and in compared to all other bank branches and the fourth and the foremost most important point is understanding that we are a startup the, the major benefit that we have had is uh, I have never felt that it's a client and a, and a bank relationship it has always been a friendly relationship uh, if I had even when I was getting my first round of funding and I had few doubts so I talked to my you know relationship manager and he helped me you know that is what you should negotiate and talk about uh, we didn't know that you know uh, we have to get a shareholder account for all the transaction so they have helped us in that just like this startup you can also aim for the success of your own startup with access to right mentoring networking and fundraising avenues. Join Leap to Unicorn, an initiative by IDFC First Bank, Money Control, and CNBC TV18.